I feel like this bass is making love to me right now. Wow. Oh, love. Yes, spin, bitch. I love food. Wow. And these ad libs. What would ID sound like if she had made her debut in the 80s? Something like this. Again, love this sound she's going for here. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Johan Moo. And today I am reacting to ID. I'm doing a mega reaction and reacting to nine music videos. I'm also going to react to two Japanese music videos, but that will be on my Patreon where I do this. Do that. Do this and that. I mean, do that Japanese music video reactions. I mean, okay, anyway. And this is thanks to one of my Lunar Galaxy patrons by the name of Eileen, who has requested all of these reactions. Thank you so much for making this mega reaction all on your own and requesting all of these. I'm really a fan of ID. I have heard two songs that I just listened to on my own. I haven't seen any mu music videos, which was Caffeine and Just, 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 I don't know, something like that. And also I've reacted to all the episodes of Mix 9 on my Patreon, which ID is part of, but her name there is Nam Joon, I think. I mean, because uh, she goes by her real name. And I mean, that show was a shit show, but it was still fun to see ID and like her back in the day so but she has been a soloist from that point already right because this came out in 2016 and i think mix 9 was like 2017 18 somewhere around there anyway we're starting with this i'm guessing this is her debut because Ellen made this playlist but i'm i'm I, I suspect this is the debut and it's called sign and as always we have to click like on everything so here we go thank you so much Ellen, again thank you everyone for joining me Let's check out ID together. First single. Oh. Melrose Avenue. Oh. Oh, she's. Her voice. So unique. Ooh, that bass. That's from Ikea, that pillow. Anyway. Loopy is the rapper. She's at the beach. The chorus is so good. Okay. Okay, white boy. Oh my god, so so good. This bass and her voice together is amazing. I feel like this bass is making love to me right now. I love like the jazzy vibe. Is this the bridge?
Oh, love that part. Yes! The ad libs! Oh. oh, I love how like long the song was. Because usually songs end, end around like 30, no, like three minutes. But this was like three and a half. And yeah, that's, I, that's the like perf perfection for me. At least three third minutes. Otherwise, the song just feels so rushed to me. I love how, like, this just introduces her to the world with, like, her voice. Like, because what's so unique about her, I feel like, my impression so far that I've gotten through Mix 9 and listening to her, two of her songs. Wait, what, how did I start that sentence? What I wanted to say is, the impression I got from her, she's got a really unique, like, vocal color. And I feel like she does some like she doesn't fit into like being an idol and i don't think she wants to she wants to more produce herself as you saw here like lyrics by her she wants to write for herself and do songs that she likes and i'm so glad she's like doing that again it wasn't like the most high budget or like advanced video but i wasn't expecting that and i don't I don't feel like i wanted that either i just wanted to see like what she wants to introduce this to introduce us to as her debut and i love that the company is getting allowing her to be as involved as she is and i i'm assuming they're going to keep doing that i don't know if she's still in that company but a lot of these songs are from base camp studio so yeah this came out also in 2016 how long after like a few months like half a year after in November. So in love, wow. those back vocals this sounds like a little wintry and Christmassy Laugh about her and like her voice, you can still like belt it out.
This is so cute. Oh my god. Oh, so good. What a freaking power ballad. Again, with just her spin on it, it's like so distinctively her. It, like, I don't know what it is because I've only heard like two songs, but like with that one before. This one is like, this was a very different kind of song, but it was like, she still had that bass, like still put it, she, in the beginning though, I felt like she was singing in a very different way. But again, of course, like the ad-libs and everything, you, it's still her style, but she's still like, can feel like she's still discovering herself here. She's trying different things. She's not scared. She's being like playful with the genres and like the, the way she's singing and the way the structures of the songs are, which is really interesting. I kind of wish they had subtitles because I know she writes her stuff herself. At least I think so. Oh no, this one was not written by her actually. But yeah, maybe the future ones will have subtitles. Let's see. This one came out, oh, only like two months after. This is called Type K. This had like more than double view. Views. Oh, somebody got a drone. She said production. Don't mind my crusty ass lips. They're just falling, falling apart. Very experimental sound. She's doing choreo. She looks a bit like Irene sometimes from Red Velvet. Also a bit like Soyeon from G-Idol. Oh, love. I love that. Oh my god. It's so high and she sings it for like drags it out. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. She just proves she can do so many different things with her voice. Still being playful, trying new things, finding herself. I don't know if she's finding herself though. I feel like she knows who she is and she just wants to do different things. Sorry for talking over the rap, it's good. I will fall in love. Sorry. I need to hear that again. It looks so much like Irene. God damn, my lips. I 
love this. I love how this has more of like an R&B vibe. But still, the instrumental is kind is very in, uh, experimental. I feel like it's different. <laughs> Had to flip that hair. She's leaving. She's getting out of the pool. Uh, so good. So good. I just, I just love that. I feel like this is my favorite out of these three so far. And like for the first time she had a choreography going, like, I think this is still before Mix 9, but where, but she did do a lot of dancing there. So was, my first thought was, oh, maybe this is after Mix 9 and she did that. So it's, now she's doing some choreography. I don't know if it was after or before. Either way, I love how that she's doing that now. She's like trying different things and just doing what she wants. Like it's so refreshing. It's different every time. And I love that. Like no matter what it is. When did this come out? Just a few months later. She's so consistent. We love to see it. This does not have as many views though. Whoa. Again, different sound. She's a bartender. Oh! Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, the way it builds. Her voice. that outfit this is more like a sassy dangerous kind of boss ass bitch vibe Very suspenseful. Oh, she's partying now. <laughs> oh, bridge already? <laughs> she loves to flip her hair. Whoa, oh. This part is amazing. Yes, spin, bitch! Spin to a whirlwind and sh sh shoot a roush. I don't know. Oh. 
Yes, please keep going. No, damn it. I wanted to keep going. It was so good. I wanted more. Okay, I can't blame her because it was like three and a half minutes, but I wanted more. Oh. I could feel like how she meant the lyrics of this song. Like maybe she's gone through something similar to a breakup or I don't know. This was in March 2017. Could she be singing about Mix 9? I don't know. I don't think we are in Mix 9 yet. I don't ever remember when that shit happened, when that fucking mess happened. Either way, so good. Wait, this is still called K. The other one was called Type. And then it was like K in that. Hmm. I don't know what that means. But she keeps trying new things. I feel like I say the same thing every time, but it's just so refreshing. The way she keeps doing what she wants, paving her way for herself. And the like companies just letting her do that. I love it. Oh my god, the company only has 4,000 subscribers. Uh, so anyway, I, I subscribe now. Love Highway. 2000. March 2017, and the next one is May 2018. Okay. I think Mix 9 happened between that, don't you? I think so. Because that's over a year. Viking, me. Let's see what vibe and ev how everything's gonna come back after like Mix 9. My poor dry lips. Nothing helps. Oh. Please don't mind. Ah! Oh. I love This is a softer ID That scene reminds me of a Studio Ghibli movie. I don't know which one. Oh, nice. I love food! Oh, I could go for some McDonald's fries right about now. They have great fries. I used to work at McDonald's. I love this. I want subtitles. Are you on the roof? Crying. Splash his ass. <laughs> I mean, not literally. <laughs> oh, and the little give me your love. <gasps> she made him a mixtape. Cute. 
Ew, she's holding his sweaty ass shoe. <gasps> oh my gosh, shut up, this is so cute. Does this shirt say Satan? <laughs> and that's when she found she found out he was a devil worshipper. But still cute. My lips are so dry. Don't look at my lips. Love that Jujin Nam yeah Nam Jujin Nam Jiu Nam Ju Nam Ju God I feel single oh. Did I click like on that one? I did it has like no views. Oh my god. I think that's my favorite yet. I really like that one. It felt like it was a different ID in that one. I'm more like confident and like more like reassured. I don't know how to describe it really. Maybe it had to do with the music video was very different because she was kind of acting throughout all of it and not really to the camera as she had been before. But I don't know. It just felt different in that one, man. I really liked it. I love songs like that. I love the instrumental, the like kind of chill, soft electronic sounds, the electronica genre vibe thing going. And again, she's doing like different kind of stuff every time. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm really a big fan. I love that one. I loved it. These are all so good. This one has even less views. And that this came out in September 2018. Called Red. It's doing more of this like piano acoustic kind of vibe thing. Whoa. I feel like she could perform this like on stage with a piano next to her and just one mic in like the 60s, 70s. has like one big earring.
Wow. This felt really sad, but like beautiful. Her voice is so amazing. I feel like this type of song in this genre though is like not really for me. Like I can still like appreciate it like this, but it's not like something that I go back listening to a lot. It's just not for me. But still really beautiful and I feel like I could appreciate it more if I had lyrics. But you can still hear all that emotion in her voice though. It's like, she sings from the heart and it's so vulnerable and like, yeah, it's just so beautiful. Again, this is one of the songs that I have heard. It's been a while though since I heard this and I'm really excited to watch the music video as well. Are you kidding me? 11,000 views? This must be, have more views on a different channel or something. Like what the fuck? Anyway, this is this is a work of art. See, I'm I'm more of a fan of this more like a little more current like kind of electronic beats with, with her when she does that. Like Love Highway had that too and like this one. Yes. Oh. What? When did this come out? December 2018. Just like a few months later. What am I supposed looks so good. This look is everything. Yes with the earring, yes with the beret, yes with the jacket, yes with the glasses, yes with the boots. This chorus is so good. Love this. These ad libs. Oh, it's so good. What I like about her though is that she's really trying a lot of different genres and styles and like just doing it feels like she's just does what she wants. She stay true stays true to like her creativity and her what she wants to create, you know? And I, I really respect that. She's not like thinking like, oh, which is gonna be the biggest hit, what is gonna make the most like money, what will make me the most famous. It's, I just really enjoy like the true artistic side of this like the art of it she's just she's fucking amazing
I'm loving all of this. Like that song I had heard though, but I'm really excited for the other. Oh, we only have this one and then Just. And Just is the other one that I've heard. And that's from a different label. So maybe that's when she changed a little. This is called And. This sounds a little like retro. Yeah, it does. Love this. This was April 2019, right? I said that. This is so cute. I feel like this beat is like very 90s. Or maybe even older. I'm not great at years. Probably more 80s. What would ID sound like if she had made her debut in the 80s? Something like this. She wrote and composed it herself. Oh, I love that. Love that she's still getting to do it herself as she wants to. It was really good. I feel like I would personally just enjoy it more if it had more of a like a current type of sound to it. But I don't think that's the the whole meaning of the song is that it shouldn't have that. And I mean, I respect it. It's her art. It's like, I totally still like it. This is a song that I would listen to as well. I just wish the songs would have had 
subtitles, I feel like I could appreciate it more that way, but still, it was very sweet. It was very cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I have one more, and then I'm gonna listen to these two. I will react to them on my Patreon. And this one is called Just. This is the other one that I've heard. And this came out, like, March. Yeah, this is like a year later. And on a different channel. But she did. this also had a lot more views. God, I love this song. I love this song. No subtitle still, though. Again, love this sound she's going for here. This more electronic type of genre thing. Oops. I just feel like that fits her so well. But that's also the type of music I grew up listening to more. I was very big into electronica. And pop, of course, so. Oh, she looks so good. Her voice just fits this so well, like this type of songs, this type of sound. But this is like a bit retro too, yeah this is more like 90s electronica because that's what I drew, grew up listening to more. Like it's very The Knife, which is what I'm relating it to. This has to be her best song in my opinion. I don't know, Love Highway, Caffeine, and this, my faves, for sure. So fucking good. Oh, I love an artist like this. I hope. Oh, this will have to wait. No, I can't show because I might get banned or blocked or I don't know. Japanese releases are scary. That's why I do them on Patreon. Oh, I enjoy this so much. I really loved all of these songs. It's so refreshing to have artists like this in K-pop. I think it's very necessary because K-pop is a very broad type of genre. And like the more we can have under that genre, I just, I think that's a good thing. The more variety, the more type of genres under that genre and just type of artists and idols and singer songwriters and everything, you know, all of her songs are really beautiful. You can tell she's very involved in creating all of it because it has all... Even if she, she did try a lot of different type of genres and concepts and vibes of the songs, but it al always has like her spin on it and like her energy in it, if that makes sense. And she's not scared to try new things. Like, and it just, her voice just fits with everything. But me personally love when she does more like electronica type of stuff, like this one, like caffeine, like Love Highway. I really like Love Highway. I want to check out the lyrics to that one. And I'm going to check out the Japanese releases and maybe some live stages and stuff on my Patreon. And if you want to see me react to Mix9, where she is also, you can see that on my Patreon. The link is in the pinned comment. 
And again, thank you, Elin, so much for requesting this. I hope you like my reaction reactions, and I hope you all like them as well. Thank you so much for watching. And like this video if you did, and subscribe if you want to. But only if you want to. I love you all. Goodbye.